You're listening to Tim Bulkley's Five Minute Bible. Casuistic and apodictic. Part four. Is it a Matthew thing? Okay, we've got to this stage. The question that ought to be ringing in your heads is: Is this really Jesus, or is it just Matthew? Because I've been quoting Jesus as quoted by Matthew, and in particular by Matthew in chapter five. Matthew has a special interest in law so he might have remembered Jesus differently from the other gospel writers is this just Matthew or is it Jesus so what about the other gospels well a powerful example is Mark chapter 7 in Mark chapter 7 Jesus takes on the Pharisees head on the issue is a question of washing not hygiene but ritual the issue isn't whether you should wash your hands before eating food that's a hygiene rule and very sensible the issue is whether you should engage in particular kinds of religious ritual of washing Verse 1. Now, when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered round him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, cultural footnote, without washing them. And then a longer cultural footnote about Jewish custom, because Mark's readers don't know much about Jewish custom. Verse 3. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders, and they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it and there are also many other traditions that they observe the washing of cups, pots and bronze kettles okay so what's the issue about? is the issue really about washing? well yes the Pharisees and the scribes asked him verse 5 why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders but eat with defiled hands? so Jesus quotes scripture first Isaiah he said to them verse 6 Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites as it is written this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God, and hold to human tradition. And Jesus' quote from Isaiah, though done from memory, is pretty close. In Isaiah it reads like this. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. The Lord said, Because these people draw near with their mouths, and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their worship of me is a human commandment learned by rote. So the issue in Isaiah is worshipping God as a heart attitude or worshipping God as a human commandment learned by rote human tradition in Mark the issue is human rules learned and spoken versus heart obedience or put it another way casuistic rules versus apodictic goals verses 9 to 10 then he said to them you have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition for Moses said honor your father and your mother and whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die so Jesus quotes the Old Testament law first Exodus 20 verse 12 and then chapter 21 verse 17 or Leviticus chapter 20 verse 9 both of those say much the same thing and he quotes Old Testament law not to apply the rule that's the Pharisee approach the casuistic approach but to demand that they head toward the goal goals and rules rules versus goals rule do not speak badly about your parents maybe even only do not curse your parents so you can measure obedience quite neatly does the person speak badly about their parents or does the person curse their parents and you can be quite sure the Pharisees didn't do either of those things but the goal of the rule the apodictic command behind the casuistic law at least in the formulation in Leviticus and in Exodus 21 is honor your father and mother the way it's expressed in the Ten Commandments the application of all this well the Pharisees are engaging in a smart legal trick casuistry but you say that if anyone tells father or mother whatever support you might have had from me is Corban and Corban means an offering to God then you no longer permit doing anything for father or mother Mark 7 verses 11 and 12 but this smart legal trick is condemned by Jesus verse 13 thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on and you do many things like this you see even by attempting to apply the letter of the law that is do not speak badly of your father or mother by restricting the law by taking the apodictic command honor your father and mother and interpreting it in the light of a casuistic rule do not speak badly about father or mother the Pharisees managed to restrict the law and limit it and make it obeyable it's the reverse of the approach of putting a hedge around it and both approaches work quite nicely for making laws obeyable but Jesus goes back to the apodictic command honor your father and mother and says the way in which you do all this breaks that command it goes in the opposite direction to the goal that's set before you 
and as such its disobedience to God even as you try to remain faithful to the letter of his law it's not about rules it's about goals it's not casuistic it's apodictic and the minute you fall into casuistry you're siding with the Pharisees and not Jesus and please note that that ex-Pharisee and possibly the first ex-Jewish Christian in the world because most of the other early Christians retained their Jewish nature the Apostle Paul put it in just the same way when he talked about the spirit and the letter bye for now